Let's work through these. Get nectar. Now this I bet, yep, this is going to look similar to what we just did. So now I can only use six blocks. We got this. I'm going to start how I have been and not try to use a loop at first. There's a clue here. They want us to only use move forward twice. Well, I'm going to go way over that. Oh, wait. We start on neck uh, on, a, on a flower. So I'm going to go ahead and get nectar right away. Right? And then I'm going to move forward. And once I move forward, I'll be on a flower. Get nectar. Okay, then what? Then I'm going to move forward. And then I'm going to get nectar. And it's going to yell at me because I've already used all my move forwards. But I don't care. Let's try this out. Step, yep, get nectar, that's a zero. Move forward, check, get nectar, yep, good. Move forward, yep, get nectar, check. And I should get nectar here. Yeah, 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 we get it, we get it. And this is what's great about code. We can be wrong. So now what am I gonna wanna do? I'm gonna wanna turn right. Then what do I do? Okay, well, once I'm over here, I need to move forward one, it looks like, and get nectar, then what? Well, looks like the same thing, right? Move forward, get nectar, then what? Move forward. And who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see where we're at. And I'm way over on blocks. That's fine. So far, so good. Now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to turn right. And now I want to look for patterns. Obviously, this is going a bit haywire. So let's see for repeated blocks. Well, I see one spot, obviously. A square has four sides. So we're probably going to run the same code, especially since there's flowers all the way around, right? They're all in the same spot four times in a row. So how do I know when a side ends? I turn right. Wait a minute. Boom. Move forward, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar. And I wonder, so the one hang up here is this get nectar at the beginning. What if I ignore that I'm on nectar right now and I move forward first? What would that do? One, two, three. Turn right. I'm going to get rid of that because now they're identical. Let's see where this takes us. So now they're identical. I know I can use a repeat, right? And a square doesn't have. And so now I can do plop and plop, right? So now this will repeat it. Obviously, we don't need to do it five times because a square is not five sided. It's shockingly four. Now, we're still over on blocks, right? I know this will work, right? Four times in a row, it's going to run through this code. It hits the bottom, goes back to the top, and we'll keep going. But we're still over. Let's look for more repeats. Oh, move forward, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar. So turn right's different, but these other I do three times in a row, which means I can use, and they gave us a little hint, another repeat. I'm going to use three. And you can put a repeat inside of a repeat. So let me get rid of these other two. Now keep in mind, I moved forward, got nectar three times, which this does. But after I did those three, I need to turn right. Move forward, get nectar three times, then turn right. So now four times in a row, and I'm going to step through this. Step. Oh, what's it do? It says, oh, I need to do this four times. Okay, what do I do four times? Well, first, three times in a row, I move forward. So I move forward, I get nectar. It hits this bottom of this three loop and says, oh, yeah, I need to do this two more times. So I'm going to move forward, get nectar. Hits the bottom one more time, move forward, get nectar. And now I've done this three times. So it's going to hit the bottom and go, nope, I've done it three times and drop below. I turn right. Now it hits the bottom of this outer loop. And I've only run through this once so far, right? Out of the four, one time, it goes back around, says, oh, yeah, I need a repeat. And we'll go all the way. But da uh, Victory. Onward. No challenges. We're all done. If you want to take a look at these other practice lessons, make sure to look out for that video. Get nectar and make honey. All right. Collect all the nectar from each flower and make honey at honeycomb. All right. So I have one block and I can use up to eight. So it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to move forward a lot. So let's start with one. Now, what am I going to need to do each time? Well, once I move forward, there's nectar, right? So how many times? One, two, three, and four. And let me hit run. Move forward, one, two, three, four. Got all the nectar. Then what would I do? I'm just going to keep going, right? Move forward again. Then I need to get nectar. Four. Okay, then there's another flower. And I'm going to go over on the block allowment, but we're testing. All right, let's see how far this gets me. 
should get me three, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, yep. So now let's look for repeats. I'm gonna start right now and say, okay, what repeats? Let's think small first. So one, two, three, four, get nectars in a row. Well, that's kind of annoying, right? Let's not do that. Let me get rid of this and I'll put one of these in a pink mouth thingy. Now it's in a repeat block. That will do it four times. Click. So once again, four, get nectars. Jook, jook, right? Four. That takes care of that one. And then once again, four, get nectars. Jook, jook. That takes care of that one. Well, now we have much shorter code, but I'm still only going to this third point and I am already over on my blocks. Why is that? Well, you can put a loop inside of a loop. Let's look for repeats. Move forward, repeat. Move forward, repeat four times. Move forward, repeat four times. So instead of doing all that, I can use another one of these things. Now, how many times do I actually want to do this? One, two, three, four, five times, right? Five times. Okay, let me do that and drop this here. Boom and boom. Let's see if that gets me all the way to the end. And it should, because I'm going to first five times, the computer will say, and it's going to move forward. Now it says, okay, I got to do this four times. I'll get nectar once, hits the bottom, zoop, back to the top, two, get nectar, hits the bottom of the pink mouth thing, zoop, three times now, hits the bottom, does it a fourth time, yep, hits the bottom, oh, we are done with this, we've done it four times, falls below, now it hits this outer repeat. Now this outer repeat, we have to do five times, but we've only done it once. So it says, yep, I got to do it again. And we'll move forward. And that should get us to here. So now what do we got to do? Well, this looks easy enough. Once we run the repeat, we can attach a block beneath it, right? And so once all of this runs, I'll move forward once, which is what we needed. And then I need to make honey. So how many times? Four times. One to, oh, wait a minute, if I need to do it four times, four, make honey. Click and click. Let's check. Victory onward. Oh, back. We got this. All right, same deal here. We have one block. We can use up to six. That's a lot of stuff. I'm going to just start throwing stuff down. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to make honey. I'm going to move forward, it looks like, and let me just put a bunch. Let's see. Okay, I get almost there, so I'm going to need to move forward, make honey, and then what? Turn left, then what? Looks like I'm going to be making more honey. Move forward, make honey. It's getting long, but we're just testing. Okay, let's see. Turn left, got it. Oop, and it looks like I need one more. Move forward, make honey. Well, let's look for repeated code. Obviously, I have way too many blocks. Well, turn left, huh? I'm gonna, that obviously, I only turn left once. Let me grab after that, though, and compare. Look at this. I move forward, make honey, move forward, make honey, move forward, make honey, ugh. So I'm repeating. Would it matter, say at the very, very end here, if I turn left again? Does that matter? Nah, why not? We can turn left again. Well, now these are identical, right? So don't do that, do this. Good job. We're still gonna be over though. We still have some problems. We're still repeating a lot of code. Move forward, make honey, move forward. Thankfully now we know we can do an internal loop. So let me grab this. Now we only turn left once. So I'm gonna put this over here. But how many times do we move forward and make honey? Well, that looks like a five. So, chook, 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 and grab. Five goes here. So now I'll do this. Chop and chop. However, I need to make sure that I still turn left. And I only turn left right here at the turn. And we're letting it happen again at the end. So let me drop this here. And that way, only after I move forward five times while I turn left, then I'll go back around. Let's see. So I'll move forward, right? It says I got to do all of this two times. Okay, first time. Oh, wait, first I have to do this five times. I'll move forward once, I'll make honey. And now I hit the bottom of this inner pink loop, back to the top for a second time, move forward, make honey, hit the bottom, back to the top of this. I've done now 
two out of five. So now for my third time out of five, I'll move forward and I will make honey. Hit the bottom, now my fourth time out of five, I'll move forward and I'll make honey. Hit the bottom, now my fifth time out of five. So hit the bottom, go back, oh, five out of five, I'm done. So I'll drop beneath this inner loop and turn left. Hit the bottom of this repeat and it says all of that one more time. Victory! Onward. Ooh, challenge. Figure out how to get all the nectar. We got this. One out of seven blocks. I'm going to do what I have been doing, shockingly. And so I know there's, let's see, three, 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 and three. I'm going to ignore what I'm sitting on right now, because if I get three in a row, I should be able to get this at the end. So let me start by moving forward, and now I'll start to get nectar. And I have to do this 12 more times. I'm not going to drag out all that block. I know it's 12. Okay. Then what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to, again, move forward, and then what? Looks like the next flower, shockingly, is the same. 12. And I'm ignoring these numbers for now. And then I have to do what? Move forward, repeat, get nectar. And that should take me to this edge, and that would be a right turn. And then what am I going to do? Looks like I'll need to move forward 12 times in a row. Let's try this off. Move forward 12 times, get nectar. Move forward once 12 times, get nectar. Cool. Okay, now what? So I turn, I turn right, but look, we have two more. It looks like each side has three with 12. So let me look for repeats. Move forward, repeat 12 times. Move forward, repeat 12 times. Then I turn right. Well, we can now know we can do a repeat inside of a repeat. So here's a three. Let me put all this in here. And now I can get rid of these two because that will do the same thing. It will run through that three times. Then I'm going to turn right. However, once I turn right, huh, isn't a square automatically going to be the same? If this does one side of a square, once I turn right, can't I do the exact same thing on each side after I turn? I can. So I can get rid of this now. And side one, how many sides to a square? Four. All of this is going to go in here. And what I'll do now, I'm going to walk through a side with you to make sure it's clear. Reset. Step. So now the computer says, pink mouth thing. Okay, I got to do all of this stuff four times. First, though, I got to repeat just three times, move forward. So the, then what? Uh, step forward 12 times, a loop inside of a loop. So now 12 times I'm going to get nectar. Once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times, 10 times, 11 times, 12 times. Now that I've done this 12 times, this pink loop's done, hits the bottom of this. And remember I said I have to do this three times. We only did it once, this outer one. So now two more times, 12 more times I do this, hits the bottom again, goes back around, I move forward once, then 12 more times I get the nectar. And now it's gonna hit this again. And we've now repeated this three times. It will drop below and turn right. Then it says, oh yeah, there's four sides. So I've only done one side. Joop, got to do this three more and goes back in. Ta-da! We did it! No challenges. We're good.